This is a tutorial on how to create a decorative book cover in Key. This is part one, which will cover the sculpting decoration pieces, and the other tutorial will be showing how to construct the book and attach these on and paint them. This is the material that you will need for part of this tutorial, as well as some modeling clay tools, and it can be found on Amazon. You'll need three circular objects to trace around. I used a bowl, an average sized cup, and a smaller cup, but you can choose yours depending on how big you want for your book. Once you've rolled out some clay on some clean film, place the biggest object onto your clay and start to cut it out. Then peel away the excess. Cut along the edge of the bowl to neaten up the edges. Then flip it back onto the clean film and start to peel it off. Start cutting around the edge again just to make sure that it's as neat as possible. Then take your second biggest circle object, mine being the cup, and make sure it's in the centre of the clay, and then cut it out. With this donut shape that you have, you want it to be in a narrower circle, so start to cut away the clay in sections as it will be easier to do. Keep doing this until you have a ring like this, and then neaten it up by pinching it together with your fingers. To keep the clay in one place as it dries, I covered a piece of card and clean film and placed it on top. Take the clay that was inside the second largest cup and with the smallest cup that you have, cut out the centre. Make this circle narrower and neaten up the edges. Once you've done that, place it in the centre of the other clay circle on the card. Remove the clay from the smallest cup and add it inside the circle you just made. Keep neatening up the edges and start to round the surface of the rings. You can do this by dragging a blunt knife along the edge at an angle and smoothing it out with your finger. Now take a piece of paper to make a stencil and trace out a curved triangle that will fit in between the inner and outer circle. This shape will become the flames that will create the sun shape. Line it up and make sure it fits. If it doesn't, you can trim it down. Now use your stencil and cut out some of these shapes. The amount you will need depends on how big your circles are. Once 
Once you've done this, cut them out and set them aside. Make sure they have kept their pointy shape as you peel them away. Start to place them around the middle circle. You can lightly press them into place. Keep doing this until the circle is complete. Using a wet paintbrush, Brush along the creases where they join and blend them together. Once this is done, you can start to trace out the engraving of your book title in the middle of the sun. Once you're happy with the engraving placement, engrave it into the clay surface deeper so you have a more defined line and can see the lettering clearer. I used a cocktail stick to do this. Start to roll out a small bead. Then cut this in half. This will be used for the decoration on the book binding cover section. Once you're happy with their shape, you can start to make the key. Roll out a thin circular piece of clay. Once you're happy with its width, mark out where the end of your key will be and then flatten it out with your finger. Remove the excess clay and place it on top of some cling film so you can start doing some fine detail work without worrying that it will stick. Cut it into a smaller rectangle and then on one side, start to cut out a sequence of random abstract shapes. How you want to do this is completely up to you. I just did a collection of rectangles and a semicircle. Be patient with this process as this is a thin part of the clay and it's extremely delicate and is easy to break. Roll out a piece of clay to cut out a circle for the top part of the key. Once you've cut out the circle, you can roll it on its side to make sure it's all even. I 
I then marked out four semicircles and cut them out with a cocktail stick for the detailing on my key. I chose this to complement the shape of the sun on my book cover. Make sure this part is quite damp and then add it on top of the key. Secure it in place by pressing it down and blending it together. You can add any extra lines or details to this key. You can now leave these pieces to dry overnight and watch the next tutorial to see how you paint and put together the book cover. Thank you for watching.